All right, so let's check this out. So I'm gonna practice navigating screens. Now this is very rudimentary, very elementary. Um, it's uh, so basically I have a home screen here, and you see I changed my screen to other So this is your demo screen. All I did was add a little button here. If you click on that button, it brings you to screen one. If you click on this button, it brings you to screen two, and then you go home, right? and screen one and so on and so forth now notice there's this back button we'll talk about that in a second so just how you do that let's talk about it all right so in my lib i have the main so i created my project i have the main i have a screen one and screen two so that's all i did so in my main let me close that real quick in my main all i did was and we're going to get to this in a second all i did was in my column I went in there and I added a text button. In the text button for the on press, I called navigator that push context material page route builder context and return screen one. That's all I did. And then I gave it a text of screen one. So const is that a const there so I can stop yelling at us there. And then here we'll do the same thing. Const, right? So when I click on this, it'll bring me, so this is the button right there, it'll bring me screen one. So on screen one, I have a new class, and I have a scaffold with app bar, and a title of screen one. Then I have, it feels like this is small. Let's go to view, increase, fight, oh, all the editors. There we go, view, increase, all the editors, perfect. I hope this is a little better. Uh, so in here, what I got here, let's make it more readable, is I have a scaffold, app bar, screen one, and then a column and a text button widget that basically says, and I'm gonna fix the squiggly line because it wants the const there. And another const here. Basically, all it is is a text button that says bring to screen two. And then what it does is it calls the navigator.push context material page route builder context const and then screen two. So then the screen two, you guessed it. The only difference here is that I want to go back home, right? So on here, created a home, and then in my material page route, I called the my home page. Um, oops, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, let's do it this way. There we go. And just just so it can be more readable. And again, I can cost that as well. So my home page, and I changed the title to has changed, right? So if you go to the my home page class, it requires a title string, right? And that's where this is coming from. So uh, if I restart it here, or just completely restart from the beginning, uh, they got restarted that. Notice there's no back buttons at all. So once I click the screen one, what it does is it overlays this. So in a tree, that home page is still part of it. That's why I have this back button. This comes automatically in my app bar. So it's part of the app bar. It comes as part of it. So if I hit screen one and then screen two, it brings me there. If I go home, it'll go home with it has changed. So I don't know if you remember at the beginning, it's a Flutter demo, but now because I clicked on go home, it has changed and I can keep doing this. Now, the more I do this, the more I have to keep going back because all those things are in the widget tree. So all they did was overlay. Okay, so at the beginning of the video, I showed you this thing over here. So there's another way to uh, switch over and essentially what you have to do is for material app, in your material app, you have to add this uh, map of routes. Right? And what I like to do is I like to create a separate file and just put them in there and so that way they're all in one place and it's out of this clutter. But for the sake of this demo, I'm gonna keep it here. So I, I gave them a name, and what I want to happen when I call them is I want context uh, to pass through the screen one. So kind of similar to the way it does now, but instead of calling all that, instead of calling this material page route builder and all that stuff like that, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna get rid of all this, and what I'm gonna call is instead of navigator that push, I'm called push name. And what it does is it takes the context and then in here I can just pass screen one. 
now you have to make sure it's spelled correctly so I was kind of double check technically you should really copy and paste to be honest if you really want to screen one right here so I'll just you know, just to be sure because I've had too many things mess up because I spelled it wrong and I'll come down here and control V there we go hot reload that and bam still works beautiful and then I'll do the same for screen here and I'll replace this with push named and then here we can do screen two now where it gets tricky is here because my home page has it has changed so you, you kind of have to leave that there so you'll be able to pass that through but for everything else you can put a name now I think what you can do though is if I'm not mistaken I'm gonna comment this out for a second and down here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do navigator dot push because I want to try something here so by default the system should have a home page like that so if I hit refresh now I go screen one screen two go home bam it brings me right back to my home page so that main that dart there not this home page but it calls the main and notice it's not part of it it's just automatically added so which is kind of nice screen one screen two go home so really nice all right so that was kind of cool simple stuff um, there's a few other things you could do like animations and change how you go in and out uh, that's a little past the you know what this is um, but I hope you found some value in it. Uh, if you did, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.